Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, the controversy is over. I was right. Everybody else was capping. And we're gonna get into that in this video, man. Also, we got the we got we got the uh the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Move weighing in on this whole thing. And uh we got NBA 2K2s proving to us that they have they've gone a long way. To, uh, make sure that this Zen thing, uh, this endemic is over. So if y'all don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video, man. And uh, we're gonna get to it right after this. Ain't no! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non stop, don't plan on breaking that head. First off, man, we played some guys yesterday, man, in the wreck. It was me, Shake, Dummy, uh, Prodigy. And uh, Manu and them guys was great, man. This is that game in the background. Them dudes was tough. I'm not going to lie to you. I had the pleasure of guarding a demigod the whole game. And I'm telling you, it's a it's an experience that I don't want again. I don't want that again because dude was that. Like, when you're playing against a demigod that's not good, it's tough. But when you're playing against somebody at the four and he's actually nice, bro, like, it's it's hard it's hard to deal with, man. And But I had the backup of my team and stuff, so we were barely able to... Uh, to pull out the door but anyway like i said man so shout out to them guys man um like i said we had no team and and they put up man they put up a hell of a fight man i thought we was gonna lose the game so that's the gameplay you're gonna see in the background but we were able to uh lock in and get it done and all of that stuff man but i ain't taking nothing away from them because them dudes are tough anyway now uh, enough of the gushing on the nba 2k21 and how that impacts what i'm saying because it, it just is what it is, man. So we start with Chris Moore. Let's start with Chris Moore. Chris Moore put out a video, and he was talking about the, the 2K community and how the 2K community is just never really satisfied, and they want to do this, they want to do that. You know, maybe dribblers want more dribble moves and cheese, and people are always talking about how shooting is tough, and then you don't experience those issues and stuff like that. Like, look, we understand that there are issues that surround this game. A lot of them. The game has a lot of problems. But they also did a lot of things right, man. It's just like... Like, the, the thing that really gets under my skin is that people don't understand competitive nature and all of that. Like, when people wanted 2K to go competitive, the first thing they was like, I was like is, well, if they're going to go competitive and you want to have the game survive as an eSport and have some strategy, it can't be like 2K16 and 2K17 where, where you pretty much just chose what you wanted to do and you can still really do everything and they were shooting from half court and stuff like that. I was like, they're gonna have to take the next step and like, and make these archetypes so that so that you can't do everything. Because the only, God damn, he fired that gas from half court. Man, I gotta roll that back. I ain't no hater, bro. I ain't no hater. I ain't got no problem with this. Bro, we defend, look at this. He fired that gas from half court. Look at the confidence. Oh my God. Anyway, man, I hate to be the one to gush, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, these dudes was tough, man. I was like, yo! Anyway, so like I said, look, we, we know that, that if you want to have a game that is competitive, you have to have roles. The reason that there's strategy in real basketball is because anybody in basketball can give you 30 points on any given night, provided that they have the green light. Thing is, they're not gonna have the green light. Trevor Reese can get you 30 points any night if he had the number of shots and he had the green light he could definitely do that terry the hair could go out there and get you 30 if he got the green light and you're not worried about winning so anybody can give you 30 any any given night the thing is the thing that makes basketball a strategy game in real life is that everybody cannot do everything so the moment that you guys continue to ask for pie charts to be removed from the game you knew at that point that there was not going to be any strategy left or anything, any real strategy involved in the game because everybody will have the potential to do everything. This is when the content creator should have spoken up and said something. But instead of doing that, they just, oh my God, this is gonna be great, man. It's gonna be, why? Because you thought you were gonna be able to make a build that was cheesier and better than others. In NBA 2K17, you could do that because you had to take something away to get something. But in this game, you really don't have to, the trays up, scratch down 36%, man. I don't, I don't, I, that's what I do, man. That's what I do. But anyway, you have to take away something to get something in those other games. In this game, you really don't have to take away anything or whatever you take away. It, it's not really, that important what you have to give up. And so you are resulted with something where everybody can do everything, and that's just never gonna make for a competitive game. It's just not. Look at the most competitive games on the landscape right now. 
Dota. Limited, you got, you're got stuck in a role and you're limited what you can do. League of Legends, you're, you're stuck in a role, limited what you can do. Rainbow Six Siege, you're in a role, you're limited in what you can do. You, is, am I starting to make sense? CSGO, you're not stuck in a role, but, but you know, you play the game better if everybody plays a role. Even with Call of Duty, like, like, oh, look at that backcourt. Rang him up one time, that defense, that defense was on fire that game. I ain't gonna lie, I can never do that again. But the, you get what I'm trying to say, the most games that are the most competitive, not everybody can do everything. You have to have balance if you want to create a, com a competitive environment. In a game where you can create your players, see in real life we can't create ourselves and just make ourselves do what we want to do. In a video game, you can. So you, you must limit what a person is able to do. It's really that simple. They, the, the outside sort forces have to limit you so that you can't just do everything that you want to do. And that's what's going to make the game more competitive. The, the moment, like I said, content creators crying for pie charts to be removed. Everybody wanted to be removed. And now I'm looking at it. Damn, that might not have been such a good idea. It's just like a child saying, uh, being six years old, saying, mommy, I want a Mercedes. Okay, I'll go buy you a Mercedes. And then you can't drive it until you, till you, till you uh, for 10 more years because you can't drive it until you're 16. You, it's like you asked for something, but you didn't have the foresight to realize what you were gonna be able to do with it. It's just like a dog chasing the car. We chased the car of removed pie charts for three or four years, right? And then when we finally caught the car, what are we gonna do with it? Just complain. What you gonna do with the car when you catch it? Like that, it's, it's just crazy. So like, I don't understand the whole the whole concept of y'all wanted 2K to go, well, some people wanted 2K to go a competitive way. And the ones that wanted to go a competitive way was some of the main people crying about removing the pie charts. I just don't understand it. And now that you got what you asked for, like where where we at now? Now we want to complain about it. But like I said though, you asked for a demigod, you got a demigod, but you got a, you you just completely forgot you had to guard that demigod too. And that's pretty much what Chris Smith Chris Moore was saying and echoing. And he was like, yo, people say that it ain't no 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 uh, it ain't no dribble moves in the game. But how people if, if it ain't no dribble moves in the game, how are people getting by you and getting to the rim to dunk on you if there's no dribble moves in the game? The thing is, like I said, people just want to have it their own way. I understand. And I completely understand. Everybody want to have everything their own way. They don't want to see. They want to dunk on people. They don't want to get dunked on. We want to hit, but we don't want to get hit. You understand what I'm saying? We want to drop people off. We don't want to. We don't even want to have the the sense of. I might get dropped off at all. Like, a, it, it's just crazy because a lot of the competitive people for the last four years, they've been able to hide behind their lockdown and not have to do anything. All they had to do was hide behind their lockdown. I didn't have to play no defense. I was just stand over here in the corner and that's that. But now, if you try to do that, they can single you out, find you, and it's a good chance that the person that they give the ball to can still do what the guard can do, and you can't hide anymore. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Does this? I, we know that the game is not going to be competitive as soon as they made it so everybody could do everything. But, like, like, why the complaints and stuff when you already, we already knew this to be the case. That's all I'm saying. You should have seen this coming. That's what Chris Moore was pretty much saying, too. You should have seen it coming. You asked for it, and you got it, and now we want to complain about it. Like I said, there's a lot of problems surrounding the game, but I just, I really feel like, and y'all let me know if y'all echo this sentiment. There's a lot of things wrong with the game and they do need to fix a lot of things. Defense really ain't one of them. To me, like, like you had a chance to make your player any way that you wanted to. And if you play team defense, Oh, that's the thing. A lot of people don't play team defense and stuff like that. They just rely on somebody else to get stops. Well, you play good team defense, you can stop people, man. You can li you can limit their scoring. You're not going to ever stop anybody in basketball, but who can stop a superstar? You can get stops on them, but you're not going to stop them. Look at that pass, man. Look at the court vision and all that. You got to play as a team. You can't always just look look for your own thing, man. But anyway, speaking of all that and defense and all of that, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Chris move right, or should we just, should, should it be... I don't know. Do we need more balancing? I feel like if they change, if they fix the chopping in the park, because that's the only game mode that's really, really unplayable or whatever, I feel like if they fix that in the park, then we really have a, a pretty good game, and they can kind of slow walk everything else, because I'm having a ball with the game, but just because I'm having fun with it don't mean that they are. And damn, I done talked all this time, and I done almost not got the news in. But uh, look, though, uh, my boy 2K2, man, did a couple of videos, bro, and I uh, asked him to do does perimeter defense uh, impact shot contest and uh no perimeter defense does not impact shot contest at all only thing that impacts the shot contest is your block rating so if you put your block rating up your perimeter defense could be all the way at the bottom and you and you will get you know the same amount so he dropped perimeter defense to 25 and put block to 99 then he then he dropped block to uh 
25 and put perimeter defense to 99. And, and he was able to show you that he got a lot more, um, a lot more and, and more, but he can't really say more better, but it's grammatically correct this time. He got more better shot contests with, with the 99 block rating, um, you know, as opposed to the, uh, you know, 99 perimeter defense. So that just goes to show you that perimeter defense, it does nothing for your block rating. And we were actually right with that when I said, damn, I wonder if that's why guards is getting sprayed because guards cannot have, um, you can't have a, a high block rating unless you make your guard a certain way. So if you make your guard, and yes, it took a perfect game for me for us to win that I was trolling shake them in this game. I said, yo, all I'm saying is, if everybody would have hit all their shots like me, the game wouldn't have even been close. That's all I'm saying. I hit all my shots and me and, me and Manu went 100% from three. If y'all would have did the same thing, we probably would have won by more. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, um, what, what he was saying was, you have to, um, the perimeter defense doesn't do anything for shot contest. Interior defense doesn't do anything for shot contest, just like we said. And your block rating is what it is. So if you are a guard with a low block rating and you're getting sprayed, that's why. So this is something that I wish 2K would have told us about though. Somebody knew it because that's how they were, that's how they were making their players and stuff. And that's why I was saying I want to know what their sources are, man, because somebody knew what was going on, right? But the whole thing of the matter is, um, like I said, he's showing you in this video right here too, that uh well, well this is the video right here with the blocks, with the shots, with the shot rating and all that. Your blocks are what dictate your shot contest. So it, it is what it is. Like on here, he was getting 10% and he was using his uh, modern controller. We're gonna get into that in a second. But the whole point is, nobody told us that block rating governs your shot contest. So that's why centers are contesting people on the perimeter and um, and all of that good stuff. And then also intimidator is tied to your block rating. So guards on the perimeter, they don't have intimidator. So a lot of times they just get shot on with, with no problem because you may have a low block rating because you assume that you could do a low rock block rating because you're a guard and you and you sacrifice that but the thing is don't sacrifice your block rating because that is your shot contest if you got a low block rating that's why you get sprayed on you can't get intimidated unless you have i think it's 74 block rating so you got to make a taller guard just to even get um intimidator which is cool but you know it, so there's some give and take there uh that's where the balancing comes in i guess but i wish they would have told us that prior to the game's release these are the things that we need to be trying to hold 2k accountable for not all the other uh, all, all the other silly nonsense uh in the background and stuff like that also um he also said you know this pretty much right here is like death to the zen because with this with the way that the game is set up now your shot timing is different from everywhere on the floor. And it's just like what I said What I said they should have done. Like when you're on a certain spot on the floor, your shot timing is just a hair different. It's indistinguishable to a human or what have you as far as if you're looking at your animation and shooting, but a bot could not do it over and over. You see how he took, took a shot right there. Let me make a big string. He took a shot right there and then, you see, so he takes the shot, boom. And then he gonna take, he's gonna step up and take, a, and take another shot. Well, this is what he's showing you, that he's greened it from the same spot, the exact same location over and over. Then he's gonna take a step up and then it's gonna be it's gonna be different time. Look, look, not, just barely a step. He just steps inside the, the three-point line. And I know it's been like this to a certain degree, but it's never been like this to this magnitude because look at that, slightly late. The timing is just a little bit different. And then he said a lot of people was uh was saying, you know, maybe it's because of the hot zones or what have you. Nephew, but the bar. he actually proves know. to you that the hot zones don't have uh anything to do with the actual shot timing. The shot is it's just if if you can hit the shot or not. It just boosts your ability to hit the shot. So right here he's showing you that hot, cold, indifferent, or neutral, you know, you can't hit the shot. So the main thing, the main thing to take away from this is they have gone a long way to uh, keep people from cheating in this game and zenny. And uh, we also, I've seen scripts where where it pulls the stick straight down every time. And it doesn't matter if you, if you pull the stick straight down every time, it's in a different spot every time. So they've gone a long way. A human can adjust to it, but a bot can't. Um, and they've gone a long way to do this. And a lot of this stuff is like what I'm saying, a lot of the development time that y'all force them to do by people trying to cheat the game. So they got to put time into that, into solutions to make it so you can't cheat it. They could have been putting into, into, into other things. 
So if the community wouldn't try to cheese and cheat the game over and over, then maybe we could have a more playable experience. And I, I guess I got to hold the community accountable too, because that's all we try to do. So they have to they have to put energy into keeping people from cheating. Other other games do too, but you, you understand what I'm saying. If we could let 2K have their full energy toward the game, maybe we could get an awesome game. But because they continuously have to do this, it is what it is. Anyway, I like the game. I'm having a ball with it. I'm sure a lot of you are too. But, and, and like I said, there are a lot of little things that do need to be fixed. They can fix choppiness in the park. Uh, and I think that's just the shadows. They just turn the shadows down. Then I think we'll be good. But you understand what I'm saying? Um, I think they turn the shadows down. We'll be cool. But, you know, they gonna have to do that themselves. That's something that I just, that's just a hypothesis of mine. But anyway, I didn't already talk too long, man. Like I said, if we just stop making them put all their energy to fixing things that the community breaks and let them just focus on the game, we might be all right, man. Maybe, maybe. Y'all think they'll drop the ball? Y'all think we could get a better game if we could get the community on board with stop trying to break the game and then they have to fix stuff that they didn't even anticipate having to fix? I don't know, man. I, ain't, I know it's not gonna be a popular opinion, but it just is what it is. Um, like I said, game's far from perfect, but I'm having the ball, and we knew what we was because I knew what we were getting when people asked to remove the pie charts and let us have uh, leave us to our own devices and have our own stuff. I already knew it wasn't going to be competitive because the, the the definition of strategy and competition is just like chess. Checkers is not competitive because every piece can do the same thing until you get crowned, right? But in chess. It's much more strategy because everybody's locked into a certain role in a certain position. And that's why I require so much more strategy. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm out of town next time, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.